Hi everyone, um, this is a video where I show the progress of a particular drawing that I'm giving away in my raffle. Um, and to enter the raffle, it, it's a Patreon only raffle and it's basically, um, I'm sorry that it excludes you guys but I am doing a giveaway on my channel very soon. But it's just um, a monthly, um, it's every two months so um, it, the next one, I, I might change it, I might change it to be monthly. Um, depending on if I can get it done, but um, yeah, so basically the amount you pledge has different um, amounts of entries, so if you'd like to be within a chance to win a original drawing every month, then, um, or every other month, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, um, go check out my Patreon, and if you can support me, then I would be really appreciative. So, the drawing for this month is this drawing, and it's basically, hello Bumble. Um, it's basically a uh, concept for a costume that I'm doing next year. Go, that's a good one. Um, and basically, I'm going to cosplay Mega Tyrantar. Bob will come back. Full original, no prints are being made. Um, so yeah, if you want the chance to win, well, you won't be able to win this. But if you'd like the chance to win any of my originals, then um, check out my Patreon. But Bob will come back. Come on, let's go. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about the drawing as well as actually doing some video inserts into this. I didn't want to just do voiceover or just video so I thought I'd do both. And at the beginning there you could see that I'm using a moleskin and the artist who drew me that is uh, Alex Reynolds, also known as Stars In My Coffee. And I'll give you a link to his work below because it's absolutely adorable and if you watch my vlogs they um, showed when I got I got um, a bumblebee themed sketchbook as well as uh, I got an Asami drawing as well and uh, he's just a wonderful artist and I felt like I really wanted to do just some little concepts in this book so um, I kind of feel bad for using a gift book um, but at the same time like I think it'd be a shame not to use it as well but yeah so I sketched out the rough thumbnail in that book and then I sketched it over onto uh, Copic Express It blending card and I love that card so much it's just it's just amazing so I used the Pentel pocket brush pen as usual um, I think I inked mostly with that but I did use some multi-liners as well actually so you will see those pop up in a little bit but basically yeah the concept behind this uh, is um, I'm going to be part of a cosplay group at SunnyCon next year and we're going to do sort of fancy human versions of Pokemon um, and we've chosen Mega Pokemon and obviously I hopped right on Mega Tyranitar because Mega uh, because Tyranitar is my favorite and um, so I decided most of them are doing sort of like a maid or Lolita style humanoid Pokemon cosplay but I like Tyranitar's like sort of massive thunder thighs so I thought it would be better if I went for something more like um like a trouser rather than like a skirt it would work as a skirt but I thought it'd be too cute to pass up not doing it in like big shorts almost like what I would sort of describe as not like a page boy but kind of like a bit more boyish than feminine so yeah, um, I definitely cannot wait to cosplay this and that won't be till next June so you might see progress in my vlogs depending on when I start this cosplay but as well I'm kind of worried about how I'm going to do the, to do the tail because Tyranitar's tail is pretty big. <laughs> It'll have to be detachable because I'll be at an artist table as well but it should make some excellent photographs and the the group that I'm doing it with, we actually did a shoot with um, Made uh, Evolutions as well, but we're expanding it and we've got more people next year and we're all doing Mega Evolutions, so um, I'm really excited for that. And we're also doing Final Fantasy Heroines and I've picked Tifa, so I am going to achieve that as my body goal. That's my body goal for next June. <laughs> Have a body like Tifa, <laughs> no pressure, but uh, yeah, so. Uh, we were we're doing fan, Final Fantasy females as well as Mega Pokemon, and it's going to be so much fun. It's a three-day convention next year as well, so I 
think the guys are also doing a third group cosplay, but I'm only doing the two. Um, mostly because I've discovered now that I really like wearing casual clothing on setup days. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the um, casual clothing on the Friday, I think. Or I will just have like my Asami cosplay when that gets done, um, which it should be done by next June. Uh, yeah, so I I just absolutely love Taran Dan. Oh, why is there a plane going overhead? Oh, that's so annoying. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, um, oh, with adding the blue, I really do want to keep trying to push my colour depth with Copic markers. It's easier to do digitally. It's so much easier. And it's, it's only sort of like baby steps for now. But... It's, it's getting there, I'm just trying to blend more colours and be a bit more expressive with colours, I think. Um, I am still too a little bit conservative about it, I'm just a bit scared of ruining something. And because this was a raffle, I needed this to like not have too many bad parts. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's just uh, it's a case of knowing when I can and can't experiment and just being a little less scared I think overall because I'm still still pretty anxious about actually um, you know experimenting too much but I I'm hoping to get another video up this week You're being spoiled this week I've already had one up um, and I've got my Q&A video coming tomorrow Yeah, my Q&A video is coming up and I can't wait to get that up and show you guys that one as well. Um, and yeah, so with regards to my Patreon, don't feel like you have to pledge to me. This, this is just for people who can afford it. Um, and I will be giving away some stuff when I hit 10,000 subscribers as well. So I'm really excited for that. Um, but yeah, so... If you've got any questions about what I used here or anything about Patreon or anything at all, um, just let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching guys and the video is about to come up where I draw the winner with Bumble. Actually Bumble draws the winner so I hope you guys like it and thank you for watching. So I wrote down all of the names from my Patreon and obviously different tiers get different amounts so you've got a higher chance of winning if you pledge more. So it's just a way of giving back to patrons um, because I'm just so grateful that people pledge to me. It's amazing so thank you. Um, I'm going to try and get Bumble to pick the winner. Let's go. Which one? Oh, can I have one? Which one? Okay! Oh no, you dropped it! Grab one. Good boy! Thank you! And we've got one here. <laughs> you actually picked one! That's so cute! And the winner is... Chrisu! Oh my gosh! Well done, Chrisu! <gasps> and now he's going mad, like you can see all of them now. You can pick another one? <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, well done! You picked Chrissy, didn't you? And now he just wants all the paper. Yeah, can you show it to the camera? This is Chrissy's! Yay! <laughs> you gonna say goodbye? You say thank you for entering. But yeah, thanks for entering and being my patrons, and thank you so much. And, whoop, oh, okay. If you'd like to be within a chance to win one yourself at some point, um, I'll leave a link in the description to my Patreon and you don't have to support me, I don't want to feel like you need to support me, but um, thanks to everyone and thank you to all my new subscribers for watching me and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!